Dr. Strongin presents the Grignard Reaction. Today we are going to react phenyl magnesium bromide with benzophenone. Safety considerations for this experiment include being aware that ether is flammable and to prevent overheating your reaction. Wear your goggles at all times and always handle glassware and chemicals while wearing gloves. Have your instructor check your setup prior to use. The reaction is carried out in anhydrous ether. Water is the enemy of Grignard reactions because it both inhibits formation of the reagent and also rapidly reacts with Grignard reagents. All glassware and materials used in the reaction must be thoroughly dry. The reaction between a Grignard reagent and water yields the parent hydrocarbon, benzene in this case. As soon as you enter the lab, clean and dry each of the following items in an oven at 110 degrees Celsius for at least 30 minutes. Place them in a large beaker with your name on it and put it in the oven. The items to dry are a 10 milliliter round bottom vial, a Clayson adapter, an air condenser, a calcium chloride drying tube, plastic fittings, a glass stirring rod, a small test tube, a small spin vane and septum cap to fit the Claisen adapter. Once dried, assemble your glassware quickly. Attach a 10 milliliter round bottom flask to the Claisen adapter using the plastic connector. Clamp the vertical portion with a septum and compression cap. On the other side of the Clayson adapter, attach the air condenser with the plastic connector. Attach the drying tube containing about one inch of calcium chloride to the air condenser with the plastic connector. The Grignard reaction is moisture sensitive, so follow all instructions carefully and minimize exposure of the setup components to the atmosphere.